My name is Marshall Sewell. I currently work for Seminus Vegetable Seed, which is now an entity of Bayer Crop Science. And I work as an area sales manager in Central and North Florida. I specialize in crops like watermelons, peppers, and tomatoes. But I grew up on my family's strawberry production operation in Plant City, Florida. It was a fifth generation operation. Um, since then, I just, I've been very passionate about the ag industry, especially the fruit and vegetable sector. And so that's sort of what helped me segue into Seminus and working on the seed side. I was originally in, invited to come and, and participate in this conference because I was asked if I could come and speak on the topic of mental health and well-being in the ag industry. And it's, it's a very tough subject and I think that there's a lot of people that never really know exactly how to tackle it, but I myself have been through the struggle of mental health in the ag industry. I lost my dad to mental health related issues and him taking his own life. and so. I knew the value of coming up here and trying to share something like that and that's what Erin, the coordinator for the program, she and I spoke quite a bit and she asked me if I'd be willing to do it and it, as I mentioned in my speech earlier, it's an elephant in the room, the topic of mental health and well-being. It's something that needs to be discussed that I don't feel is getting the attention that it needs and so that is for the most part why I wanted or felt compelled to come up here and, and speak on behalf of that. The title Somebody Cares mainly just came into play because at the very end of my message, you know, I talked a lot about us taking a more proactive stance in terms of battling mental health, us checking in on one another and the people we care about, but then on the opposite end of the spectrum, folks actually being more willing and more open to opening up and communicate in the times that they're struggling. But my, my final closing point was that somebody cares piece because at the end of the day, the biggest message that I want somebody to remember if they are struggling, if they are going through a, a hardship or a difficult time, I just want them to always remember that whether they realize it or not, there is somebody who cares and there is somebody who is willing to listen, who's willing to help, and ultimately that there's somebody there who cares enough that it's still worth living.